How to calibrate your fuel level gauge to any fuel sensor. What you'll need. A fuel level sensor and a speed hut fuel level gauge. First, power on the gauge. If the fuel gauge doesn't have a built-in button, plug the external button into the back of the gauge. Next, put the gauge in calibration mode by holding down the button for 10 to 12 seconds. The pointer will swing to one eighth of a tank, which is the start of the calibration process or the first ohm level preset. You can cycle through the resistive presets by clicking the button once. Once the pointer reaches your desired ohm range preset, hold the button for two seconds to select the range. One eighth of a tank is the factory default setting and it is empty at 240 ohms and full at 33 ohms. Fourth of a tank is empty at 70 ohms and full at 10 ohms. Three eighths of a tank is empty at 0 ohms and full at 30 ohms. Half of a tank is empty at 0 ohms and full at 90 ohms. Five eighths of a tank is empty at 10 ohms and full at 180 ohms. Three fourths of a tank is empty at 90 ohms and full at 0 ohms. 7 eighths of a tank is empty at 16 ohms and full at 158 ohms. Full tank is manual calibration which is demonstrated in this install video. Once you're done cycling through the presets, hold down the button for 2 seconds to save that preset range. If not selecting manual calibration, your fuel level gauge is now calibrated to the fuel sensor. Fuel level gauge manual calibration. If there isn't a preset range for your fuel sensor, you can manually calibrate the gauge to your sensor. First, connect the gauge to your fuel sensor and power on the gauge. Next, put the gauge in calibration mode by holding down the button for 10 to 12 seconds. Now, put the gauge in manual calibration mode by pressing the button several times until it points to full. Hold down the button for two seconds. The pointer will swing back and forth between empty and full. You are now in manual calibration mode. Both the full and empty conditions must be calibrated for the gauge to operate correctly. Now, set the full and empty conditions of the sensor. To set the full condition, fill up the fuel tank to the full level, or move the fuel sensor into the full position. When the pointer swings to full, hold the pointer for two seconds. The full condition is now saved. Next, put the gauge in calibration mode by holding down the button for 10 to 12 seconds. Now, put the gauge in manual calibration mode by pressing the button several times until it points to full. Hold down the button for two seconds. The pointer will swing back and forth between empty and full. You are now in manual calibration mode. To set the empty condition, drain the fuel tank to the empty level or put the fuel sensor in the empty position. When the pointer swings to empty, hold down the button for two seconds. The empty condition is now saved. Your fuel gauge is now manually calibrated to the fuel sensor. And that's how you calibrate any fuel level sensor to a Speed Hut fuel level gauge.